What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel in today's video. Uh, so today I'm going to be giving you my full review and impressions on the Saucony Peregrine 11 STs. Let's get right to it. Okay, so as always I'm going to discuss this in kind of four areas. It's going to be the upper, the midsole, outsole, and then firstly looks. Because we all want to run in a shoe that looks good. So, so right away let's just get straight into the looks. It's a pretty cool looking shoe, I think. Uh, obviously, this is dirty. I use it. You know, I've run, uh, I've only run twice in the shoe so far for about 40-ish miles. You know, normally I like to get to 50 miles uh, before I do a full review, but uh, I feel like I've done enough in the shoe to where I know whether or not I'm going to like the shoe and I can pass judgment. Uh, and with my ankle injury, it's going to be a while until I can really get out and test these again. So I wanted to go ahead and get this review out to you all so you can take a look at it if you're going to consider getting the shoe. Looks. Uh, I mean, the color is pretty cool. I mean, I think it's a good looking shoe. I like this little orange stripe here, this grayish, tealish color on top uh, is, uh, you know, it's not bad. So yeah, overall, I think it's a, I, I don't know, out of a 10 scale, I'd probably give it a, a seven, you know, six and a half, seven out of 10. It's not bad. Okay, and moving right along to the upper. All right, so the upper is a debris resistant upper. It has this like uh, really fine layering over top of the upper that kind of prevents dust and debris, rocks, things like that getting through. I did notice when I was running that that actually seemed to work really well. Like normally after a trail run where it's muddy and I'm getting my feet wet, my socks are just gross. You know, my toes are covered in dust and dirt, uh, which wasn't the case with these. They stayed fairly clean, so it, it did its job. Uh, there are some 3D printed overlays on the outside as well of the uh, of the upper. Uh, and then on the tongue, they've got a mesh reinforced uh, tongue here as well to provide some durability and also help keep some things out of the shoe. All right, looking inside, I can see that it is a fully gusseted tongue. Uh, both sides do have the gussets there. Yeah, and the tongue was pretty comfortable. It all, it's also, you know, padded uh, decently here. So uh, you can, you know, if you pull those laces down, it's not going to hurt the top of your foot. Speaking of laces, let's get to this right here. This is a uh, quick lace system, uh, very similar to what Solomon uses. A couple of the brands have tried to do it and it didn't work out too well, but these actually worked uh, pretty darn well. Uh, my only issue with this whole lace system uh, is this feature right here, which is really cool in theory. Uh, it just needs to be maybe fine-tuned a little bit. This is what they call a lace garage. So when you pull this and you lace the shoe, pull it down like that, you can then tuck this excess down inside this lace garage and in theory that's awesome in practice i found myself having to tuck in the laces uh, quite a few times as you can see i mean it's it's pretty loose uh, so if this was a little bit tighter uh, you know harder to get the laces in and out i think it would work better and you wouldn't have that issue of this popping out on your run also on the upper there is a gator attachment on the front so you can attach those gators to help keep other debris out which is really cool by the way, if this is helpful to you and you're getting something out of this, I would appreciate if you would give the video a thumbs up, like the video. It just really does help the video out. And if you're new, maybe consider clicking subscribe. That way you'll see uh, more shoe reviews, watch reviews, awesome trail running footage, things like that. Okay, now moving on to the midsole. All right, so this midsole here is what's known as their Power Run midsole. Uh, it is a responsive uh, foam. It's a responsive midsole. And there is a rock plate in there as well. So there's plenty of underfoot protection for when you're going over those technical uh, ascents or descents or whatever it is you're doing. You might have a rock or stick poke in, but you're not going to feel it. These were very comfortable. I ran over some very technical, very rocky terrain. Didn't feel uh, any pokes or prods like I have felt before in my Hoka Torrance. Uh, those do not have a rock plate. Or the Speed Goats, you know, they've got that, uh, the dreaded gooey hole <laughs> in the little diamond in the back of the shoe where rocks always poke up in, in the back of the foot. Uh, that's not the case with these. I mean, these uh, with the rock plate and that uh, power run cushioning gave plenty of cushioning in the foot, plenty of protection. Felt like I could run in this shoe all day. I did run six hours in this shoe once uh, and felt fine. And my feet were actually surprisingly pretty, uh, they felt okay after that. I was kind of surprised, honestly. So I could totally see this being a shoe that you could wear uh, for a 50 mile race, 100K, maybe even a 100 miler, uh, depending on your feet, you know, obviously. but. Uh, I've been impressed with the midsole so far. All right, moving on to the outsole. All right, this outsole here is, uh, they're a deeper multi-directional lug than the normal Saucony Peregrine 11s. Uh, these are six and a half millimeters deep. 
Uh, and as you can see, I mean, they are aggressive, they are deep. There's not a lot of uh, surface area uh, other than these lugs. So these shoes excel, like they say, in soft terrain for that ST. Uh, in mud, in uh, steep climbs, steep descents, uh, very, very muddy conditions when I wore them. And it was, the grip was insane. I mean, it was phenomenal. Probably the best gripping shoe I've ever worn. Definitely better than the speed go, uh, going uphill. Uh, and downhill for sure like definitely with that said though there are definitely some drawbacks to having such uh, aggressive lugs so where this shoe has a major issue and a caution I would give to you all is if you're gonna be doing a run where there's a lot of creek crossings or there's even um, let's say you've got it's just raining and there's a lot of big rocks that you'll be running on like boulders or just not not like gravel but big rocks these had absolutely zero traction I mean, none on wet rock. Uh, it was like, as soon as I was going into a creek and I would step on a big rock to cross, it was like I was ice skating. I mean, my feet were sliding. I almost fell several times. It was dangerous. So if you're gonna be using these uh, in a race or just a training run where there's a lot of rock, be cautious. Like on dry rock, they were fine. But wet rock, do not step on wet rock with these shoes, at least without like slowing to a crawl and like, you know, uh, you know, very tiptoeing because it's, it's dangerous. Just, that's the only way to put it. Okay, a couple of specs on the shoe. It is rated as a neutral shoe. It's a four millimeter drop, 27 millimeter in the rear, 23 millimeter in the front, uh, giving you plenty of protection underfoot. Like I've said, cushioning is there. It's, it's, a, it's a comfortable shoe to wear. So this is a men's size 11 as well. Let's see what it weighs. Okay, so it is not at all a light shoe at all. Uh, men's size 11 is 12.4 ounces. Now keep in mind, these are muddy. Uh, there is plenty of dirt on them still. So it's, you know, probably in that, le uh, that very, very high 11 to low 12 uh, ounces is what I would say if it was a clean, fresh out of the box shoe. But that's heavy. Um, you know, when, you're, when I was running in them, I didn't feel like I was wearing heavy shoes. It didn't really feel like it got caked with mud either to add some additional weight with these being so spread out. Uh, they did a pretty good job with that. So even though it's a heavy shoe, it doesn't feel heavy. When you run in it, it feels responsive. It feels like it has a little of the, uh, a little pop makes you wanna go, you know, and running uphill uh, or just power hiking uphill with these is great. All right, bottom line, uh, who would I think these shoes are good for? I would say if you run in an area where it's just, there's a lot of rain, a lot of wet, muddy, sloppy terrain, maybe in the fall when the leaves are down and it's just slippery, uh, steep terrain, you know, these are gonna excel in that environment. Uh, but if you run in an area where there's a lot of dry rock or a lot of uh, wet rock, uh, I would steer clear of these. <laughs> Do not get these. The regular Saucony 11s I've heard are not uh, like that. They have more surface area underneath, so it's gonna provide you more grip on that wet rock. So I can't personally give my thoughts on it, but something to consider. Right now, these go for uh, $130, and at that price point, I think it's I think it's worth it. You know, I think that's a, a pretty fair price for these. With the cushioning from the Power Run midsole, the Power Track at outsole, some of the you know new technologies on the shoe like this debris shield, I think you get a lot for that $130 because uh, this is a shoe that you could wear, like I said, for 100k, maybe 100 mile run. You can do it for those training runs. You can get a lot of use out of the shoe. All right, well, that's going to do it for the Saucony Peregrine 11 ST. Let me know below if you have tried these shoes, if you've experienced any of the similar issues I did with, uh, you know, the wet rocks, or if you uh, have some other thoughts on the shoe. Let me know, be know below. I'd be really curious. Anyway, let me know if you get a pair of these, what you think of them. I appreciate you checking this out. Uh, on the screen, I'm going to put a playlist up of some shoe reviews. You can check out other shoes as well. And then on this side of your screen will be a video that YouTube says is best for you. So you can go check one of those out over there. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you on the next one.